In this video, we are going to solve a few problems on redox reactions and electrode processes. So the first question that we have here is, using standard electrode potentials, predicted the given reaction is possible. And the reaction at hand is Cu plus Fe3 plus forms Cu2 plus plus Fe2 plus. So the first step in solving this question is to identify the species that is getting oxidized and reduced and then write their half reactions. Okay. So from here you can see that iron changes its oxidation state from 3 plus to 2 plus. So that means iron is getting reduced whereas copper changes its oxidation state from 0 to plus 2. So copper is a species that is getting oxidized. Correct. Now, if we write down their half reactions, it would look something like this. So, Fe3 plus accepts an electron and changes to Fe2 plus ions. And copper is getting oxidized, so copper loses electrons to form copper 2 plus ions. Now, in order to arrive at the correct overall reaction, it is important to balance out the number of electrons. That is, the number of electrons that is gained in the reduction half reaction should be equal to the number of electrons that is lost in the oxidation half reaction. So that is why we have to multiply the first reaction by 2 so that we get 2 electrons here which would balance out with the 2 electrons here and then you get 2 here and 2 here. So the overall reaction would be Cu plus 2 Fe3 plus gives 2 Fe2 plus plus Cu2 plus. So this is the balanced overall reaction. Now, in order to figure out if this reaction is actually possible or not, we'll take the help of the standard electrode potentials for these half reactions. Now, the standard reduction potential for the first reaction, which is Fe3 plus Fe2 plus is 0.77 volts. And the standard reduction potential value for copper 2 plus to copper is plus 0.34 volts. But note that we are looking at the oxidation reaction here. And this value of 0.34 corresponds to the reduction potential. That is, this value is associated with the reduction reaction here, which means Cu2 plus plus 2 electrons form Cu. This is the reduction reaction, right? And this value corresponds to this. But what we have here, our half reaction is an oxidation half reaction, which is exactly the opposite or the reverse of what is happening here. And this is why we'll have to reverse the sign here because the oxidation potential is negative of the reduction potential. So that means the value here would be minus 0.34 volts that corresponds to the oxidation half reaction. So let me remove this part. Therefore, the standard reduction potential for our half reaction is 0.77 volts and the standard oxidation potential for our half reaction here is minus 0.34 volts. Now you might notice here that even though we have multiplied the first reaction, the reduction half reaction by 2, in order to balance the number of electrons, we are not multiplying the electrode potential by any such factor. This is because the electrode potential does not depend on the number of moles of the ions. And this value would be same whether we have 2 moles of Fe3 plus or 5 moles of Fe3 plus. Basically, it is independent of the amount of substance that we have here. So just as we have added these two half reactions to arrive at the overall reaction, we similarly can add the reduction potentials here to arrive at the overall potential of the reaction. So that would be 0.77 volts minus 0.34 volts, which is 0.43 volts. So this positive value 0.43 volts indicates that the reaction is favorable and thermodynamically spontaneous. Let's look at the next question. It says, using the standard electrode potentials, predict if zinc metal can reduce aluminum ions from its solution. So if you try to use zinc metal to reduce aluminum ions, the reaction would look something like this, right? Zinc metal would react with Al3 plus ions to give Zn2 plus and Al. Now, if you look at this reaction, you can see that zinc changes its oxidation from 0 to plus 2. Whereas aluminum changes its oxidation from plus 3 to 0. That means zinc is getting oxidized here and aluminum is getting reduced. Now, if you look at the standard electrode potentials for these metals, the values are E0 Al3 plus Al is minus 1.66 volts and E0 value for Zn2 plus Zn is minus 0.76 volts. 
Now to take a recap, these are the standard reduction potentials, which means the half reactions corresponding to these reduction potentials are Al3 plus plus 3 electrons from aluminium and Zn2 plus plus 2 electrons give zinc. Correct? These are the corresponding reduction reactions for the potential that we have here. But from our reaction, you can see that while aluminium is indeed getting reduced, which means we can use this value directly, zinc is actually getting oxidized. So the reaction here should be Al3 plus plus 3 electrons giving Al, which is same as what is happening in a reaction, and zinc is getting oxidized to Zn2 plus and 2 electrons. So the sign here gets reversed. So this negative value now becomes a positive value. And remember, in order to arrive at the correct overall reaction, we have to make sure that the number of electrons is balanced here. So we multiply the first half reaction by 2 and the second reaction by 3. So that gives us 3ZNS plus 2Al3 plus would give us 3Zn2 plus plus 2Als. So this would be the balanced overall reaction. Now since we have added the half reactions to obtain the final overall reaction, we can do the same thing for the reduction potentials as well, right? So the E0 value for the overall reaction would be minus 0.9 volts. So the negative value here indicates that this reaction is not feasible under standard conditions and would be thermodynamically non-spontaneous. So this is why in practice we don't see zinc metal reducing aluminum ions from its solution.